music channel today is another tutorial tuesday oh my god for those of you that are new to this channel my name is vera south and your tutor mozax um today will be another great day make sure you keep watching and learning thank you all right guys thank you for joining us today in our tutorial tuesday Today I'm going to be sharing with you something I learned over the years about the saxophone reed. Saxophone reed is the most important part of the saxophone that will give that will determine your tone. We've talked about things you need to know that will give you a professional tone about the saxophone. We, if you miss those classes, please check the link in the descriptions below. So today I want to talk about um, three saxophone reed hacks. All right, the first thing I'm going to be talking about is. First, I'm going to talk about how to fix a broken saxophone. You have a saxophone reed that is broken, number one. I'm going to be talking about how to fix a reed that is broken. This, this reed now is broken at the, at the tip. I'm going to show you how to fix a broken saxophone reed. I'm going to show you how to reduce the size of a reed. The reed is so hard, you can't get your size in the market. The one you have, you can do something that will bring it to your side. And then number three, I'm going to teach you how to increase the size of a reed. This reed is too soft for me. I went to the market. I couldn't get my size. How to make it hard for me. That is the three things, the three saxophone hacks I'm going to be teaching you today. Number one, I'm going to teach you how to trim, a, how to fix a broken reed. A reed is broken at the tip. Like you can see, this reed is broken. And I, I, I want to save money. I can't find it in the market. And then, of course, I won't stop. Playing. Without the reed, you can't play the saxophone. So you just have to do something. You have to be smart. So number one, a broken reed, by the time you, you trim the edges, it's going to be hard. You're going to have, automatically, you're going to have a hard reed. The reed is going to be hard. So what will you do? After trimming it, the size is now too hard. So now you still have to what? You know, trim it back to the original um, size of that reed. The good news is that you have this part of the saxophone that you need. This from here, from the base to the tip, this is the part that you need. This other part, the good news is that you have a part here that you also need where your ligature is holding. But the, you don't always need most of the length of the reed. So, I'm going to cut off the part of the tip and then complement it with this, with this length by trimming off the size of the base to compensate for the part that I just trimmed off. So what am I going to do? First of all, I need to be able to trim the edge to give me the exact shape of this same reed, this arc shape. So I put it, you need a hard surface, a, a hard surface, place it on a hard surface, you need another reed that you are going to use to get that shape back. So place this reed. I'm going to use this one that is correct to get the shape that I want. So what will I do? I'll place it over the part, away from the part I want to trim off. So it's there right now. I have aligned it. I take a biro and just mark out. And just mark that out with the reed that is good. So if you check it now, I have an arc below the part I need to trim off. Make sure the first thing that this reed is soaked inside water. It's, because if it's not wet, if it's not soaked, as I'm cutting, the dryness will be, will be causing the, the edges to, to kind of clip open, kind of pop, it will open. So I haven't done that, that I have my scissors I'm going to cut along this, the part that I just marked. Wow, that's a good cut. So you see, I have a cut. So all I just do is to adjust. As you can see, I only need to just adjust the part. Wow. 
that is not well trimmed. Okay, so this is better now. Can you see it? Now I have my my shape back. The only thing now is that this reed, if I play it now, this reed will be too hard for me. So what will I do at this point? I need to start biting away from this base to get to compensate for the part I cut off. If you look at the part I cut off, I trimmed off, look at it. This is the size of the reed that I trimmed off. So I need to be able to compensate for that same size on this part, on this edge. So I'm going to be biting, I'm going to be biting down to this part that I just marked, which compensates for the part I trimmed off. So what will I do? I pick my blade and then I start trimming off. Place it on a on, a, on that surface and then begin to, to when, so I begin to cut this way. Look at what I've done. I've, you know, scraped out a part of the reed from here. You know, the base is now, you know, a bit down to that place. So what I will now start doing now is start filing from the base. On this part, if I'm filing, I'm facing this way. So I'll start filing off from the base. Now take, take, understand something. The reed starts from a very thick and then it goes down to a very thin shape. And then the center, the edges, the edges, when you get to this part of the reed, you start filing this way. So you file down and then you start filing this way. Means the center of the reed is harder than the sides of the teeth. This center is going to, is going to be harder than the teeth, than the, the, the two side edges. So, so when I get to this point, I begin to have a V shape. Look at the shape you should maintain when you are filing your reed. You look at that shape. So as I'm going down, I'm filing, I'm filing. When I get to this point, I want to start filing more of this side, filing more of this side. I'm going to see this when you look into a, a, a you know a new reed. Also, look at it. You will see a kind of these edges are more more are looking lighter, and then the middle of it is looking darker until you begin to have a kind of a V, a tip, a pointed tip. These sides are lighter, these sides are lighter. This, the tip is, a, is also very light. Then away from the tip, you start having a darker edge that forms a kind of a V shape while you go down. So if you have that understanding, you begin to file according to that. So I go now, file. I'm filing more from the base, more from the base very hard on the base. As I'm going towards the, the tip, I begin to reduce the hardness of my bite yeah, just so that I don't, I don't destroy the reed. So I'm filing this edge because I'm compensating for the part I trimmed off. So let's go. I trim. So while you are filing, you begin to test the size of the reed. Is it too hard? Is it too soft? The only disadvantage is at the end of the day is that you are, you are not going to have the full length of the reed again. Of course, your ligature can still hold it and then you are fine. Let just blow. No sound. It means it's still, it's still too hard. So I lose again. Test it again, again and again. I'm beginning to have sound, but it's still too hard for me. So I go again. It's 
You see that? And there we go. So I have my lead back. If this is hard for me, I just keep, you know, filing the way in that dimension on that. So the second thing is the reed is kind of too soft, too soft for you. The reed is too soft. It's the same thing, but this one is. So the reed is too soft. What you do is you trim the edges, you trim the edges, and then you just file little. Trim the edge a little, just like an inch, and then you just file a little. Look at what I'm cutting out of it. Just a little because I just maybe this is this is size two and a half and I want to make it size three. Don't reduce a read from too much gap. If you can't start reducing a read from uh, 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 increasing a read from size two to size three and a half, that's too much. Half reduction and half increase is good. So let's just go so I'll trim off this little that I just cut. I just want to reduce this read by half. Increase this lead by half. I just want to increase the trimming until I get the shape I want. Correct. So I have my shape back. So this one I don't have to bite too much and I don't have to file too much. In fact, presently I can, I can use it. I already have a size 3 now. So let's go. You see, I have my size 3 back. Just trimming off and not filing. I have size. I have size um, 3, but probably I just want to just fine tune it, just to give me that easy vibration, good sound. I just a little bit from the tip, a little bit from the tip and then just like that. And then I just go a little, a little, a little, especially fine, making the edge you cut to have that fine edge. This is more of where you are going to be filing, just to give you that fine edge. you're not filing more of this part i just give you want you to just have that fine you know egg that it had before so i'll just go to the tip of this particular class of this particular lead and then just file it back you just want to file only these edges if you file here i'm going back to two and a half and that's all i have my edges very straight and very fine back and then i'm back i cannot blow it again I'm comfortable with the rebar. So this read from two and a half, I have my size size three. Okay, now the last hack I want to share with you is this read is size three. I want to bring it down to size two. Maybe I want to give it to one of my students, or somehow you just want to come, or you got size three in the market, and then you are not comfortable with it. It's giving you airy sound. It's difficult for you to get your low note. You want to just bring it down a bit to give you size two and a half that you like. You know, just half differences is just what i recommend you just want to come a little bit down half inch so what you just do is this one is simple you are not trimming off the edge you are not trimming off anything you are only filing more of this of the center of the base and center you are not touching the tip you are only touching the base filing this base a little that's where the hardness is coming from so i just go Simple to reduce the read is so simple, simpler than increasing the read. So to reduce the size of the read, just file this part and then you are gone. So let's go. I keep filing the way I taught you this way. More of the center is what I'm reducing. I'm not touching this edge. The, so the hardness of that read is not coming from this place. It's not coming from this place, it's coming from this place. It's coming, the hardness is coming from this place. It's not coming from this place, it's not coming from this place, it's not coming from this, it's coming from this place. So just a little, I'm going to be filing this part of the wheel. So which I've done, it's softer now, you see? Just, you see, it's kind of, it's even too soft for me. You know, two and a half is soft for me, that's why I'm feeling, I'm already feeling the, the softness. So you have that. Um, there are cheap saxophone reads out there, and there are ones that you need to get the professional sounds, sound that you desire. 
one of such read I would recommend is Vandorin. Vandorin is that read. Look at it, Vandorin. I recommend this read, Vandorin. I also recommend this read called Rico. Rico, Rico Royal or Rico um, made by Dadario. You can get these two reads, these ones I've used that I know. If you use it, you get the best out of it. So don't, there are fake Ricos out there. There are these ones that we used to buy there. Uh, it will, it will, if you have Rico, but it's not original. If you want to know the real Rico, it's coming with this plastic, white plastic casing. It's also coming with some, you know, this, it is inscribed at the bottom of the read. You will see the number, it will be inscribed, Rico Royal. Um, that's that for Vandorin. Each of the read comes with its own uh, plastic casing like this, something like this, and then it also comes with a kind of, uh, it's sealed inside this pack. After that, you now find it in a pack, something like this. So that is the two read I would recommend, Vandorin and um, Rico, original Rico. Wow, wow, that was so educating, oh my god. I'm sure most of you have learned a lot today. For those of you that are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe and press the, the, the notification button beside it to always know when anything drops. Um, for those of you that have some complaint, make sure you put it down on the comment box and lay your complaint there or give your suggestion anything okay see you next week bye <laughs>